podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the Beloit Podcast. Born in Beloit on November 5th, 1929, William Youngblood McCrary was a reserve shortstop for the Kansas City Monarchs in the Negro American League from 1946 to 1947. McCrary was adopted at just seven weeks of age by Bud and Estella McCrary, and he received his nickname from legend Satchel Page. Harry Pullman, coach for Beloit American Legion Baseball, scouted McCrary as a student at Lincoln Junior High School. McCrary joined the team, becoming the only black player. It was Harry Pullman who would also suggest McCrary try out for the St. Louis Cardinals when they stopped to scout in Beloit. McCrary was just 17 years old when a scouting manager told him that major league teams still weren't accepting black ball players. Instead, the scout arranged a tryout with the Kansas City Monarchs. Shortly after, the team offered him a contract. Bill Youngblood McCrary, 5'10", 175 pounds, was a backup for his first season with the Monarchs in 1946, and the next two years he played shortstop and batted a lifetime average of 341. McCrary is most notable for his career with the Kansas City Monarchs, although he left the team in 1948, attempting to join the major leagues. He joined the Fargo-Moorhead Twins, a farm team in Fargo, North Dakota. McCrary played on several other farm teams, including the Janesville Cubs, a D-League affiliate of the Chicago Cubs, and also played for the semi-pro Omaha Rockets. After his baseball career, McCrary continued to contribute to the area. A quote from William McCrary, featured at the Negro Leagues Baseball E-Museum, says he worked at Alcoa and General Motors as a foreman for 12 years, also owned and managed a janitorial service for 8 years. For 5 years, he coached and umpired Little League Baseball. William Youngblood McCrary was inducted into the Beloit Historical Society's Sports Hall of Fame on June 5, 2014. He was featured in the biography, A Legend Among Us, The Story of William Youngblood McCrary, by Linda Pennington Black, published in 2014. On June 25, 2016, the Milwaukee Brewers honored the Negro Leagues by paying tribute to William McCrary, Ray Knox, and Roosevelt Jackson. Late in life, McCrary became an ambassador for the Negro Leagues, making personal appearances and sharing his experiences from the era of segregated baseball. William Bill McCrary passed away July 21, 2018, in Arkansas at the age of 88. December 2, 2020, American Professional Baseball Organization and the oldest of the major professional sports leagues in the United States and Canada, the Major League, announced their decision to recognize the Negro League as a major league. Commissioner of Baseball Robert D. Manfred Jr. announced December 20, 2020 that Major League Baseball is correcting a long-time oversight in the game's history by officially elevating the Negro Leagues to a major league status. When proposed originally in 1969, the Special Committee on Baseball Records excluded the Negro League from being recognized as one of six official major leagues. The 2020 reclassification meant that the MLB would now include records from seven leagues that made up the Negro League between 1920 and 1948. For more information regarding Beloit's African American history, visit the African American Historical Society of Beloit at aahsb.com. Thanks for listening. My dad made it.